Now, Ilya Teporia is a new upcoming star, uh, undefeated. He's got such great hands. Right hand down the pipe. And look at that. Look at that X and Y access. Oi, oi. <laughs> that 632 was clean as fuck. Ilya just, he's so good everywhere. Him fighting Al Alex Volkanovsky is probably going to be the highest level in a very, very long time in the 1 to 45 pound division. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. We got a brand new breakdown for you. Sorry, I just got out of the ice barrel in the sun and I'm feeling absolutely amazing. We got Ilya Tuporia taking on Bryce Mitchell. Uh, this is a breakdown we're going to be doing right before Ilya Tuporia takes on Alex Volkanovsky for the featherweight belt of the world. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live. Now, Ilya Tuporia is a new upcoming star, uh, undefeated in his quick starts career. Great boxer, moves very well, very well rounded. Uh, let's break him down, boys. Let's get the pin going and now turn the video down because I don't want to hear the commentators. Okay, already, uh, to the Poria, um, great boxer. He's always working outside of the lead leg of Bryce Mitchell because he is a southpaw. And his previous fights have broken down before. He's always done such a good job of always moving his head on the X and Y axis. Now, what I mean by this X and Y axis is that when he's going, Okay, I'm just gonna put it. Ooh, nice late kick. Okay, so he's always super low. He has a, a, a boxing stance where he keeps his head low and his head's always moving. He always has a rhythm. Beautiful takedown uh, defense there. All right, perfect example right here. Okay, so we have the void going on right here between the two. Uh, South Papa is orthodox. So Ili Teporia is always working outside that lead leg. And that's why each time he, he strikes, he comes in and steps around that corner, the lead leg. And that's why Bryce Mitchell in the very beginning of the fight, he missed most of those push kicks. And his head's never staying in one place. It's always going here. Here's an X and Y axis. This is X and this is Y. His head's always going from here to here. Back and forth, back and forth. So it's never one spot the whole entire time. That's what I mean by the X and Y axis. Okay, let's get going again. Always moving and always moving outside that lead leg. Okay, nice slip there. See how his head wound's always, the head wound's always going back and forth. It never stays here. It's going here, here, down. It's always going in this in, in this direct uh, in this motion, and that's why. And his base is super low, so he's ready to defend a takedown. The only thing I can see Bryce Mitchell trying to hit him with, but he already tried to, is up kicks because he's trying to time when that head's going to be when the head's going to go down. But he missed it already. But it's a good play for Bryce to try to get that head movement, try to catch it. Jab. And I haven't seen his fight before, so I have no idea what's... Obviously, Illy wins, but I don't know how he wins. <sighs> Ooh, right hand. And see, this is the thing that uh, Bryce uh, is... Gooey. Mm, right hand again. Ooh, he's got such great hands. Like his uh, good shot, good take down defense. He does a good job of stocking and his hands are so fast. He doesn't really, oh. Like he, like his awareness of when he's out of distance and when he's in distance is pretty good because you see him load up on that right hand so much and he doesn't throw, he, he, he shows it, 
and misses and shows it and doesn't throw it. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Good takedown attempt by Bryce Mitchell. Does he get it? Back to his feet. He's going for a switch. There. That's why that, that takedown don't work uh, as well for Bryce Mitchell because he went for a switch. You see, he's always outside that range. So, look. Look. He's a good stalker, right? So, he goes right to the edge of the distance and he moves his head. His head is always going. <laughs> his head's always going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth when he's going. What's going on, guys? This video is sponsored by Ridge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know we have these big, fat, bulky wallets. Well, guess what? Ridge has changed the game. Check out Ridge. This is the Forge Ridge wallet right here. It's one of my favorite colors. It has gold sparkles in it. This bad boy can carry up to 12 cards. And they also have the Ridge wallet key case. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's super simple to use. This one is the Forge gold that has like little gold sparkles in it. Now, I carry around this. All I can do is carry three cards and it's very hard to get out, okay? Unless I got lotion on me. If I need to carry more cards. I don't carry those things on me because they can't fit in my Apple wallet. So what I do is I use my Ridge wallet, push this bad boy right here, boop, comes up super easy, boom. And the cool thing about the Ridge wallet is that it is thin just like the Apple wallet and I can carry up to 12 cards in this bad boy. And even when you have those cards, it's still slim. Absolutely love it. Bam! Now, if you guys wanna give Ridge Wallet a try, all you gotta do is go to ridge.com slash mighty and make sure you use my promo code mighty and that'll save you 10% on your order. If you wanna give Ridge Wallet a try, all you gotta do is go to ridge.com slash mighty, use my promo code mighty and that will save you 10% on your whole order. Thank you to our sponsor, Ridge, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to that content, boys. We See, if I was Bryce Mitchell, one of the things that Alex Volkanovski can do to disturb Ilya Teporia is that right now, Ilya Teporia, his weight is down, and Bryce Mitchell's throwing no body kicks to get this arm, uh, these arms busy. And he's letting... Ilya Tupuria get way too close to him, right? So he can throw the body kick and he can also throw it inside because he is so heavy weighted on his hands coming across a distance trying to get to Bryce Mitchell. So those are the things I can see Alex Volkanovsky do to Ilya Tupuria that I would try to exploit is that I wouldn't let him get too close because he wants to box. I won't try to shoot on him. I would try to fake the shot and then come back up top because his posture is super low because he doesn't want to get taken down. Those are the things that I'm seeing right now that I'm like, ooh, those are the things that I would try to exploit if I fought him. But he doesn't stay in the clinch, right? He 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 disengaged. He wants to be in he loves to be in this range. And right there, there's that head movement, that head movement everywhere. X, Y, and Z, the X and Y access. And that's why Bryce Mitchell can't really get him. And uh Ilya Teporia is always oh, he goes to take down. Okay, what we got here. Okay, he's controlling the posture. Okay, he gets back to full guard. <clears throat> I didn't expect him to get taken out. Okay, going for an armbar attempt. Okay, good first round. Uh, you know, honestly, good first round for both the guys. I think Bryce Smith was trying to have a hard time to keep 
uh, Ilya Tuporia from crossing that distance and getting the exchange. Here's something to slow motion right here. Right hand down the pipe. Uh, the reason why this right hand's landing is because Bryce Mitchell is staying right in front of him and uh, Ilya Tuporia's right hand is more lined up than his, right? But look at his head movement. You guess that? Both those two landed actually, but didn't land it flush. Oh, and he also trapped that leg there. That's what got that takedown. He trapped that leg underneath his butt. But this is what Ely does very well. He gives like the first round to figure out the distance and how close he can get to his opponent. Then once he gets close enough, then he's able to let, let the hands go. The two, three lands clean. But see his hands, see, Ilya's hands are never get busy. What I mean by busy, Bryce is throwing that push kick from him at him, but he's not throwing any body kicks, right? Let me see if I can time it perfect. Goes to the takedown, bad shot, too far out. And then a beautiful distance from uh, Ilya Teporia. See him walk across that distance? <laughs> yeah, wrong. Wrong on uh Bryce Mitchell's part. Yeah, he see he's trying to go. Uh oh, okay. All right, hand landed for my Bryce. See. Yeah, he's trying to so. This is what makes see Ily stops right here. He stops right here, right here where the void is after that takedown defense. He doesn't run all the way back here and ask for a break to catch his wits about him and then engage. Bryce Mitchell just expended all the synergy over here to try to get Ily down. He fails. Look where he is now. He's going to come forward and he's going to fight in this range right here where Bryce Mitchell isn't ready to go. Let's see what happens next. Look, right there. Right hand. He misses. Disengage. He stays right there. Ooh, beautiful right hand. Ooh. -y. But see, he's right there ready to go again. Mm. And look at that. L look at that X and Y access. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That 693, that 632 was clean as fuck. All right, now he's in, uh... So he's in side control, he's in half guard. Uh, Bryce was doing a good job, and this is what's keeping him close right here. He has his underhook. He has his underhook. We always talk about if you're on the bottom, you want to create the frames, get on Ily's face, push Ily away, and then to be able to create some distance and get out of there. But since Ily has the underhook, it's keeping him chest to chest. That way, Bryce Mitchell cannot look for the frames and create any space and hip escape. Passes guard. That's one of the things I like about Ily is all his fights I've watched. He always does everything correct when he's on top he's looking at pass guard then he looks to punch it and submit now he's mounting <clears throat> now look at the shots he's in a dominant position we can get some good shots off boom boom he's gonna let go and this is where he loves to be he loves right here when he gets his boxing range look at that head movement that's the biggest thing for him he gets in a head movement and he does a good job and i get him with the elbow beautiful right hand he misses look beautiful uppercut again Beautiful pancake right into side control. Looking to separate that arm for crucifix. Knee ride. Always transition. And look at that. Takes the back. Hook in. Going for a triangle choke. <laughs> look, he's just <laughs> ragdogging this man. And he lands in side control and goes for the choke. I mean, Ilya just, he's so good everywhere. Like, he's not doing arm bars off his back or triangles off his back, but his transitions and him going to the edge of the distance, when he gets in that fighting range at the edge of the void, 
he gets the X and Y axis going with his head. He's going boom, 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 boom. And from southpaw to orthodox, he's always stepping outside the lead leg of the southpaw. And he's throwing the right hand. He's lined up his right hand to land that southpaw. That 632, which started it all. Let's take a look. Right hand kept on landing. There's a left hook. Okay. That was the 632. This is the two that landed that dropped Bryce Mitchell. Right here. Look at this transition. Pancake, or it's, it's, we call it a pancake, but there was no um, cross space, but look at Bryce Mitchell's face. <laughs> Throws him down, lands inside control. Okay, right here, look at this. He's always transitioning. Locks up that, brings him back down. And look, he's already, Bryce Mitchell's trying to keep him in guard, but he, he passes guard. Look, drops his hit down. Boom, steps through. Staying out of guard where he can finish his choke. Keeps on his his this this left hip down. And slides to and gets the triangle choke. Arm triangle. Beautiful. Like him fighting Alex Volkanovsky is probably gonna be the highest level in a very, very long time in the 1 to 45 pound division. The high, like a very, very high level. You know, you Alex Volkanovsky, he's been so good at outstriking people who are bigger than him. But I think um, he's going to have his hands full with Ily Tuporia because Ily Tuporia is good at boxing. I don't know. I don't necessarily know if he has the speed of Alex Volkanovsky, but I think Alex Volkanovsky has had more wars with 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 more with better opponents. So I'm super I'm super excited to watch this fight. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live, baby. Chief, well, thank you.